Here's another repair that is usually approved by most engineers, and that would be to install a new joist on each or attach a new joist to the joist that would be on the right and left side and then put a doubler in here and use some hangers to transfer the load. So the load here is going to be transferring to the ends, like I said. It's going to be using the doublers here. The load from here, you're going to have it, it uh, transferring to this end and where it's at over here, it's actually going to transfer over to the ones to the joists that have been doubled up on the other sides. This will give you another idea of what you're doing here. Again, you've just attached a new joist to this side, a new joist to this side. And again, this is just another another way to do it. There are plenty of different ways I'm going to try and show you in this video. There we go. You can see it. Doubler. Now you can always put another board here. This for something like this, you might not need a doubler, you know, and you might even be able to get away with just toenailing it into the um, doubler over here and then end nailing it in here. So you'd basically just be taking a, um, one of these uh, blocks, let's say, and then moving it over to here. And you'll see another example of that, I believe, in the next video where I have two doublers in there when, when I'm and when I move it over. There you go. That's it for this one. Here's an example of something you would do if you needed to move it away from the wall. And uh, this right here would provide you with two additional doublers um, to support each individual joist. And again, this situation would work the same placed in any location here, wherever you had it. So um, just keep that in mind. And again, this is just another way to fix this stuff. There's our doublers again, doublers on each side. This just has the doubler here. Remember the weight is transferring from here to the sides. And the same here, the weight that would be transferring here is going to be transferring to the sides and to the footings here. Just giving you a couple of different views of it there, and I hope that makes sense there. These would just be double hangers, single hangers, and uh, if you if you had two by eight joists, you're just going to get a joist hanger that would be for two by eight, two by six joists. You're going to use two by six hangers. In some cases, you can actually use two by six hangers for two by eights also, and uh, same with the uh, single joist hangers. Here's another situation that might not be approved by an engineer, but I think it might work in some cases that I would share it with you anyway. This would be using a doubler and a doubler on this side with a double block for a head out here. And uh, this would be carrying the weight of the single joist, except this time we're putting two joists off of the doubler. And I don't really see where you would have a problem with this. But again, these are just examples. I am not about to suggest that this is something that an engineer would approve on your specific project. Again, we have the doublers over here. Um, you're just adding another joist to the joists on each side, doubling them up to carry the weight of the supporting uh, head out there or double blocks. So here we have a situation where the this joist would be carried by the doubler, and then we would have two different joists. And this might help you if you have something on this side where you might be too close. You know, if we were to take this this uh, doubler here and move it over to where it's only about a foot off of the uh, away from the footing or the edge of the rim joist, something like that, let's just say somewhere over here, and something like this might work a little better than um, using that. Now, now, keep in mind, too, if you have something from here, let's say, 
that's about 16 inches out and it's going to be under a bathtub or a shower and people aren't going to be walking they're not going to be stepping on it then you might not need to do anything with this area over here just as long as you have this particular uh, situation this area supported I hope that makes sense again this is just something else that you can use another method I'm just kind of throwing it out there Go to the website for more videos on walls and engineering. I will also have a complete list of the videos in this series along with other videos that I have already made. Video.gregvan.com structural engineering or go to the gregvan.com website, any one of them, and look for the video box in the upper left-hand corner. Once you get to the video website, click on the structural engineering link and you should be good to go. You should be where you need to be.